and welcome back to Walking with the Word, the series in which we explore the gospel of Christ and the Word of God, delving deep into its content, its context, and its meaning. And so then, let us continue through the gospel of John, beginning in the first chapter, from the sixth unto the eighth verse. I say again, John chapter 1, verses 6 through 8. Listen now unto the words of John, the evangelist. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Praise be unto the Lord our God for these words. Amen. Upon a simple surface reading, this passage is merely a clarification, a statement that though John the Baptist was a great man, he was not the Messiah. He was not the prophesied light to, that was foretold to come into the world. But when you look at the historical context of both the time of Jesus and the time in which the Gospel of John was first composed, you understand why this clarification was put into place. You understand why it is so critical. For we know when we look at the Gospels that John the Baptist had his own following, his own groups of disciples and his own leaders of his congregation who did their own baptizing. Indeed, many of the very first Christians were first drawn from the followers of John the Baptist. Now, many Christians assume that the movement of John the Baptist was subsumed into the early Christian movement after John the Baptist died and the knowledge of Jesus as the true Messiah became more apparent. But alas, that was not the case. For we know from texts that survive from this period that Jesus and John were simply two of the many Messiah claimants or people whom Israel thought possibly could be the Messiah at the time. And we also know from those same surviving texts that even in the year 70 AD, in the time when, Jer when Jerusalem was destroyed by the Roman armies after the great Jewish rebellion, that there were still independent followers of John the Baptist who claimed that he was their prophesied Messiah, who failed to see the light of Christ and still claimed that John, not Jesus, was the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. And so then, in this first early passage, as he repeats in almost every single quotation from John the Baptist that we see in the Gospel of John, John the Evangelist, 
makes it very clear that John the Baptist was not the Messiah, that John himself claimed that he was not the Messiah, that he was merely a forerunner of those, correction, of Christ, of the one who was to come. And I believe that there is a lesson in that for all of us. That when we look to the great leaders of our time and of our age, to the great preachers and politicians, we must remember that in the end they are simply men and that we must never put them before God. And even more so, that when we claim we are followers of God, followers of God and His servants, we must ensure that we are actually looking at their words, that we are actually understanding them instead of twisting and turning their words for our own purposes or even simply misunderstanding them, so caught up in our own ideas of what should be that we fail to see the truth that is in front of us, the truth that wants us to come back to it, the light that all of those great men and women were pointing us to. Let us remember that and let us seek the light, the true light which these leaders and which John the Baptist bore witness of. Amen and amen.